The fight to protect LGBTQ plus rights is often waged in legislature. Fox 43's Harry Lee takes a look at legislation currently under consideration in the state house that could restrict LGBTQ plus rights. The ACLU is tracking 490 of what it calls anti-LGBTQ bills in state legislatures, including three in Pennsylvania. The bills that we think sort of pose the biggest threats to LGBTQ rights tend to be in the same you know, a couple of, of buckets. That includes freedom of expression, safety of transgender students, and access to health care for gender dysphoria. One bill in the State House, for example, would extend the statute of limitations for minors who undergo gender affirmation treatment to sue their care provider for medical malpractice. The ACLU says that's an effort to intimidate care providers. We are always are alarmed and would oppose legislation to create a more chilling, you know, sort of atmosphere um, in the same way we do on reproductive rights. State Representative Paul Schemmel, who introduced the bill, disagrees with the ACLU labeling it anti-LGBTQ. I don't see what's anti-LGBTQ uh, with regard to a, a piece of legislation that actually extends additional rights to individuals. So it doesn't take anything away, doesn't create harm to anybody. It really just says that to an individual who had a medical intervention as a child, they get an extended period of time to raise a claim. Schemmel compares the measure to other attempts to extend the statute of limitations for children who have been hurt. Oftentimes individuals really aren't ready at that point or maybe the individual if they feel if they've been harmed those harms haven't manifested themselves until a little later. State Representative Jessica Benham is the first openly LGBTQ plus woman elected to the Pennsylvania General Assembly. She says the bill is part of a trend of subtle attacks against the LGBTQ plus community. We often talk about when we're talking about race, things that are, are dog whistles um, for things that are racist. And I think we see some very similar things that happen when it comes to targeting the LGBTQ plus community where folks will claim that they're protecting women or they're protecting children when in reality what they're doing is denying the very real fact that LGBTQ plus people have always existed and will always exist. Benham is part of the House LGBTQ plus Equality Caucus, which also opposes the two other House bills on the ACLU's anti-LGBTQ list. One would ban teaching about sexual orientation and gender identity from kindergarten through fifth grade, and the other would require students to play on sports teams based on their sex at birth. Democrats say with their new majority in the House, the bills are dead on arrival. Look, at the end of the day, as long as the Democrats have the majority in the House, we're going to ensure that no pieces of legislation which unfairly target the LGBTQ plus community get a vote. Republicans, though, do control the Senate, so support from both parties would ultimately be needed to pass any law. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.